Hello everyone! Today I'm gonna do a May, April, March, June, what day is it? May book haul. I'm gonna start off with the books that people sent me this month. The first books are from Sky, and her YouTube is called Mixed Fruit Cup. I've subscribed to her, so I'm going to link her down below. Thank you so much for these, Sky. The first one is Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. Nothing about this people ever dislike. So I am just really excited to read this because I read like the first couple pages whenever I first got it and it sounds amazing. I feel like this is gonna be a new favorite book of mine. And she also sent me The Beginning of Everything by Robin Schneider, also a book I've been wanting to read for a very long time. The next book I got is from a girl named Montana and that is White Hot Kiss by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Am I the only one who was 100% convinced that this was a new adult novel? Because... <laughs> but, no judgment, I like Jennifer L. Armentrout. I'm kind of hesitant about how I like this one though, but I still really want to try it out. It sounds pretty cool. All I know about it is that it has like gargoyle type things. Yeah, she's half demon, half gargoyle. I don't know how that's gonna go down, but I am interested. And then my really good friend Manuel sent me um, this book. I don't know if you've heard of it. I've actually never read this before. Um, I heard like a couple people on booktube have heard of this. It's not really that well known of a book. But um, I think it's about a girl who does something. And I'm not completely sure. But I'm really excited to have this finally. That is 100% a joke. This is one of my favorite books ever and I don't own it in paperback and the matchy form so Manuel oh, oh, I already told him how thankful I am for it but thank you again I am so happy I finally have the matchy series and then I received four books from a girl named Kimberly and four of them that is insane I was like fangirling for so long I almost cried it was rough so the first book she sent me is to all the boys I loved before by Jenny Han it looks so great in person and also the back still has like her room on it and stuff and this book has been talked about it seems like everywhere I know this is about a girl who writes letters to her old crushes and then hides them away and never sends them and then they get sent one day that sounds so neat to me I want to read it very soon. And it's contemporary and summer is my contemporary season so you know I'm gonna be reading that quickly. The next book is The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath which is a classic. I need to like crawl out of my little YA hole. Uh, that was really poor choice of words. I read the first couple pages of this in the store and I just thought it sounded so neat and I've also heard of this for a very long time and I wanted to read it so I put this on my wish list and I got it and I'm so excited to read it. I really hope this doesn't put me in like a reading slump though because it's so sad. And then she also got me Attachments by Rainbow Rowell which is the book explosion book of the month I believe. I'm not sure when that live show is so I probably will have to read this pretty soon because I know it's in May but this is the only Rainbow Rowell book I haven't read because Landline hasn't come out yet. So this, I'm pretty sure you've heard what it's about, so I'm not going to bother. So yeah, that is that is the thing I do enjoy. And lastly, she got me Where Things Come Back by John Corey Whaley. Everyone always talks about how cool this cover is, but what I had never seen before and what I think is so cool is the spine. Ugh, spine. Look. Cover, cover lust, spine lust, or those, is that a thing? So thank you to everybody who sent me books this month. I am so grateful. Books galore. Thank you. Oh. Now let's go on to the books I received for review. So from Penguin this month, I received Inland, Inland, Inland by Kat Rosenfield. I'm gonna link this on Goodreads in the description because I don't know how to describe it without directly reading the cover. So if you're interested, that will be in the description. Okay, in story time, a couple of months ago, I had um, emailed Lindsay Cummings like, I really want to read your book. Can you, uh, give me it? So then she emails me back and she's like, oh, you have to ask my agent publisher person. So I email her and I'm like, hey, uh, can I have that? 
And then she responded and was like, yeah, but we're going to put you on a waiting list. And so, of course, I was like, well, that pretty much means no. So I kind of forgot about it. But then the other day I get a package from HarperCollins and I'm freaking out because I forgot that I even sent the original email. And I opened the package and I nearly screamed. And I see I got an arc of the murder complex, which comes out. It says June 14th. This book I have been waiting to come out for so so long and I'm so excited that I got to read it. I really want to read this soon so I can finish it before it comes out. But then also in that package they gave me two other arcs. That is unbelievable. So the first one is Push by Eve Silver which is book two in a series I do not own the first book of. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. But if you've read that series let me know. I'm not sure if I want to buy the first book or not. And then the second book, which also comes out June 14th, is Vivian Divine is, this is in cursive, and obviously I'm really great at reading cursive. I think it's Vivian Divine is Dead. And this sounds like almost a YA version of Misery by Stephen King, except like different. I'd never heard of this book before, but it actually sounds really cool. This author is the girl that wrote Amelia Anne is Dead and Gone, I believe, so... Hopefully I'll enjoy her writing because I haven't read anything by her previous to this. I made two book outlet orders this month. But the reason I placed this order was because I snatched the last copy of The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. I got it from the library so long ago and then never read it because I had to return it. And I was so sad and I'm really, really happy I own it now. The other book that I got that I saw and was like, me was Mr. Umbrella's 24-hour bookstore which his name isn't Mr. Umbrella but I don't know how to pronounce that so he's gonna be Mr. Umbrella and first thing I did was go in the closet with this book and be like it doesn't glow but it doesn't kind of upset but either way this is just a really hyped book it's not YA I don't think but I'm still well I don't know why I always have to justify why I'm reading something if it's not YA but yes so excited to own this also. The others I got are just random, like I said. And the first one is All These Things I've Done by Gabrielle Zevin. Zevin. This book I bought because I've heard of it for the longest time and I think it has the coolest plot. It's in a society where chocolate and coffee are illegal to have, so I'm 90% sure it's dystopian. And it just sounds so so neat. This next book is one that I don't think I've ever seen talked about on booktube, but I've seen people on Tumblr be raving about it, so I really wanted to get it. This is Saving Francesca by Melina Marchetta. I hear it's really good and it's like contemporary but kind of has more serious undertones. Undertones? What am I, an artist? The next book is Two Way Street by Lauren Barnhold. I'm kind of digging road trip books at this point. Um, between this and Amy and Roger's Epic Detour, I'm going to be set on road trip books this summer. And the last book I got from that order is Meant to Be by Lauren Morell. I first of all really love this cover. Every time I see it on Amazon, I have like a twitch because I'm like, really pretty. Need to buy, but I don't. So now I have it and this book is about a girl who has like a really strict, this is how my life is going to be. And then... As kind of cliche, a boy helps her break out of that type of mindset, I think. And the second book outlet order I placed this month, um, I think it's, I got three paperback books for like six fifty, so I was doing really well. The first book I got that was on um, clearance was Every You, Every Me by David Levithan. It has, look, I'm going to seem so nerdy, it has uh, strikeouts, so I was like... Yes! I miss strikeouts and shatter me or ignite me so much. Like it's not the same. So I'm really missing my strikeouts and this has strikeouts and it has pictures and I think this is gonna be so good. David ne Le David Levithan never fails to impress me with anything he writes. And then another book I got for like 150 is Easy by Tamara- <coughs> Dying. Tamara Weber. Kind of mad because this book is like scratched and the edges are really dinged and I'm like 100% sure it wasn't a scratch and dent. But whatever. And this is a new adult book. It is the only new adult I will have read other than Abby Glines. And I'm really excited to read this. I've had someone 
recommend this to me like a classmate so it's not just like a random internet person being like Casey <laughs> is the running dream by Wendelin Van Drainen that is a name I cannot say but my friend Tris from Books Over Looks reviewed this the longest time ago but I remember ever since then wanting to buy it and I finally have it and this is I think just gonna be like an uplifting type read maybe it's not gonna be it's like a runner who yeah, loses one of her legs. I have just a handful of books that I got from Half Price Books this month. So the first, actually I got a ton of classics. Oh my gosh, pretty much all of these are classics. So this is gonna be my classics haul. I got really pretty, 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 pretty covers of Emma by Jane Austen and Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. I don't know if you've heard me talk about these before because I've mentioned them already in like four videos, but these are the most beautiful covers I have ever seen. And they're so soft and they have like flappy thingies and they have those. I'm just really excited about these. On Amazon, they're only like $7. And so I will link, I think there's like six different classics that are in this edition. They're called the Classic Lines Edition and a lot of people have been asking about them. So I will again link Amazon links to those down below. The next book that I got is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I know that Regan and Katie from Cat Sky Rider 24 both really adore this book and I haven't read it. At the beginning of the year for English class, we read The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. As you can see, I have marked several things in this book that I liked because I just really like his writing. And so I was thinking to myself, I want to read more F. Scott Fitzgerald stuff. So I got a bind up of This Side of Paradise and The Beautiful and the Darn Diddly Dude because I can't say the D word. Wow, arrest me. It's in like a 400 page book that I can do easily. And I just really want to experience more of his words. Another book that I got is Liesel and Poe Liesel. Oh, there's no vowel between the S and the L. How does one pronounce? This book I found for a dollar in the clearance section of Half Price Books and this is Lauren Oliver's middle grade novel but this is a UK cover, I think. Well, I don't think I know, because right here it says 9.99 pounds. So that's really funny. Then I got the sequel to Star Girl by Jerry Spinelli, which is Love Star Girl. It's told in letter type format, and I really love Star Girl. It's one of my new favorite books. I highly recommend it, and I'm so excited to read this one also. And lastly. We're going to venture into the land of hashtag Regan made me buy it because I found a copy of the Furies of Calderon. Calder, Calder, she's sighing at me so hard right now. Cal, Calderon, Calderon. <laughs> I am not really good at this, can you tell? This is the first book in the Codex of Alera series. I'm pretty sure you've heard about this if you subscribe to Regan. And this is just something I did on impulse because I was like, Regan, I know you like that. <laughs> Always trying to be more like Regan, I bought it. So again, I don't really read fantasy, so I'm trying to, like I said, get out of my little hole of YA and just venture into the real world where I can read books about things that aren't teen angst. And that is everything. Finally, we are done. I just realized I'm not even done. That's embarrassing. I just started wrapping this video up and I still have four books to talk about. On May 6th, I went to a book signing and I got three books there. This one I have already read and this book actually is not for me. This is for you. I have a giveaway going around on right now on a different video. All you have to do is comment on that video. So I will link it below. You can watch the video. You can hear the rules there. So if you want to win a paperback signed copy, if I can find the signed page, signed copy of the selection, then all you have to do is go to that link and follow whatever I say there. But then I picked up for myself a copy of the one which I've already read and thought it was pretty good. And then also the selection stories. And I still have my Whitney sticker in here from when I got it signed. Take that out now. Now I'll never forget my name. And lastly, this is really ridiculously embarrassing, but also I'm just so, so happy. If you follow me on Twitter, you have already seen this. You already know what the deal is. But if not, 
I got a German copy of Shatter Me, and I didn't get make someone get it for me. I didn't get it from the American Amazon. I went to Amazon.de and Google translated the hecky out of it. So we were just like getting emails from them in German, and we had no idea what they were saying. It was rough. Ooh, I forgot to pronounce the title because I know I'm gonna butcher it. Okay, ready? There's a lot of kiss in it. Ich fürchte mich nicht. Yes. Now we can wrap it up. So thank you for watching, everybody. Um, hopefully you'll keep tuning in. Hopefully I won't have these big book hauls in the future, especially in the summer. I do not need to keep adding more things onto my TBR. So I'm going to go add all of these on my bookshelf right now because I'm in the middle of rearranging, which is why we have a very depressing looking hole over here. So thank you for watching. I'm pretty sure that's the fifth time I've said that. I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.